Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMora, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth here at the End Times Research Ministry. And I want to give you a little bit of information about the missions because this is really on my heart. And uh, I want to bring this to your attention uh, because I, I believe that this is what the Lord really wants me to do. And so I'm going into prayer. I'm, a, I'm going to lay some things out to you because I know that God wants us to do what we're called to do. And so let me share with you this ministry. And first of all, I want to read what was sent to me today because I've joined up with Ascent Ministries and we've been working together to feed all kinds of kids in different countries like Haiti, two places in, places in Haiti, in Uganda, in Pakistan, in India, in Kenya, several places. And so please bear with me when I go through this because this is something that's really dear to my heart in the ministry. Dearest in the Lord, as you know, Frank DeMora has a passion to take care of the needy and feed the poor. He has done all that he can do to keep the children in Uganda fed, housed and all together in a good Christian environment. And due to the dire circumstances now facing Pastor Daniel, and Pastor Daniel is one of the people that I'm supporting. I'm doing whatever I can, and this is who she's writing about at Essence Ministries. Now, Frank has given all that he has to make sure that his kids stay together. However, there is a great need he wants you to be aware of because we need your urgent prayers in this matter. Ascent Ministry works very closely with Mr. DeMar and try to help his pastors and kids get what they need to survive. Please join in with in prayer with uh, for Pastor Daniel, who was struggling with the Ministry of Education in Uganda during the process of registering his school and orphanage. This is something new. They didn't uh, do this before. Now, all of a sudden, the ministry is doing this, and it's really caused a lot of hardships uh, with Pastor because he doesn't have any funds, and the funds that he gets, I give it to him, or uh, Ascent Ministry. And uh, so, let's go on. It says, they, they are requiring that all items for registration be completed by the third week of December. Pastor Daniel needs to complete the beds he just made with mattresses. And so, what we did is, uh, I sent money over. Uh, I take uh, whatever I get from my savings, and uh, and Ascent Ministry has come alongside me, and uh, they've been gracious enough to send their money uh, that they're receiving to the people that I that the Lord has placed in my hands through the ministry of BibleProphecyMan.com, and now the End Times Research Ministry. And so we've gotten the materials or the funds for the materials. They're building the beds. They need to build more beds and they need, obviously, they need other resources. So let me go down here. It says the Ministry of Education has also ordered Pastor to install a water tank near the, the Children's Center. And right now, these are some of the kids that I'm supporting that uh, this is the water hole that they're getting this water from. And you can see that, especially if you live in uh, America or you live in Europe, uh, just think about if your kids were drinking from water like this and they had to walk quite a distance just to get the water like this. This is really on my heart. goes on to say that he must also build more classrooms, uh, which they have already begun with the temporary shelter, and the people in this village have pledged lumber and nails to help, but there are uh, many more needs. And, of course, this is the shelter. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's not a very good picture, but they already have the outside structure, but they need metal and whatever uh, to enclose this uh, to get this uh, passed by the Ministry of Health. It says, Ascent, let me go down, oops, sorry, the Ascent Ministry has joined with Frank, and we have depleted all our funds in order to help Pastor Daniel and his children keep their orphanage at home. 
Now, I spoke to Amy at uh, Ascent Ministry. I told her that I, whatever I had, I was just going to send everything that I had, which, I, which I'm doing. And she also agreed with me in prayer or in the same ministry uh, that, you know, the compassion that we have for feeding the poor and making sure that these kids all could stay home together and not be separated or taken off by the state. So Ascent Ministry has joined with Frank, and we have depleted all our funds in order to help Pastor Daniel and his children keep their orphanage home. If the Lord has led you to help, please contact Ascent Ministries at Hotmail.com, or you may send your tax-deductible contribution to Ascent Ministries, and here's the address for it. There is no better way to show the true meaning of the birth of Christ than helping the poor or orphans who are in need. Now I wanted to show you, and here's a prayer, and I agree in this prayer uh, for Pastor Daniel and for the kids who are in dire straits at this point who have been sleeping on the floor. When I saw this, it was just a crushing blow to my heart. And I knew right away, even though that you know I don't have anything, the Lord wanted me to help, and so you know I'm, I'm sending whatever I can. But the prayer is that the Lord would step in. He would touch hearts. All I'm doing is showing you the need. I've had a sent ministry come on board and say, Yeah, Frank, we see what you're doing. We want to join you and pray, and we want to do whatever it is to help the people that you're helping. And so what I do is I, if somebody were to help, I tell them, Please, these are the people that need it, and they've been gracious enough to send it. And it's 100%. Nobody is taking any funds out of her ministry at all. Everything, every dime is going over to helping these kids, and she can supply you with the receipts and pictures. We're always posting everything so that you can see exactly what's happening with the funds. Now, in Luke 21, chapter 6, or chapter 12, verses 6 and 7, it says, Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than the sparrows. Now, let me just give you an example of what my ministry has already done and what Ascent Ministry, who is now helping me as they're just sending uh, the funds over to the, the people that I've chosen to, to send them to. Uh, and they've been gracious enough to do that. Uh, here, for example, is one of the children of Pastor Daniel's orphanage who was in the hospital with malaria. When I saw this, I said, no, we gotta, we got to help this young man. And here's some of the nets that we managed to get funds over there to buy uh, nets to keep them from getting uh, the mosquito bites, which causes the malaria. And then here's some of the food because... Obviously, if you're going to have healthy kids, they need food. And here's just some of the bags of the rice that made its way to Uganda to take care of the kids. And so there's the need. All I can do is show you what the need is. And I'm not even going to play the Christmas card. But all I'm going to say is this. We're Christians. And if you saw the need of today, and the Lord speaks to your heart about helping the kids who need the help, then please uh, email Amy again at this address down here, as you see right here, and just let her know and she'll show you how to help. Thanks everyone for allowing me to even bring this need to your attention. Uh, I thank Amy and Ascent Ministries for their heart. And uh, as we come together, we just trust in the Lord that someone will be touched by the Holy Spirit to make sure that these kids get fed and the needs of the uh, Pastor Daniel are met. God bless you all.